Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna recreate this amazing liquid effect. Like it seems that you're like pouring liquid into a word, like this amazing text reveal effect. So I hope you guys had a great weekend as well. We had, we just cleaned the house and went to, a, you know, to the local club and had some drinks and <laughs> nice, everything like that. Now it is time to get back to reality. So let's get started right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, we're in Vegas Pro 16. What I was thinking as well, should I bring back the green screen that's behind me so I can put myself like back down in the bottom right corner or should I just like, you know, switch from angles, for example, like this when I'm showing you guys something in Vegas Pro and then when I, when I want to talk to you guys, switch back to the big camera. I'm not really too sure yet. Just let me know in the comments down below. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go over to the Media Generators tab and we're going to pick Titles and Text. We're going to drag the default one obviously onto the timeline, that's very obvious. And we're going to just type in the word uh, liquid because that's what I'm going to use for today's video. But then as you can see, this font is a little bit too thin to be able to see the liquid going into the word. So I'm going to just pick a different font, so which is actually going to be a pretty bold one. So what I'm going to do is scroll through the fonts until I find a nice one. Uh, so let me check. I think this one looks pretty nice. It's the same one as I used in the intro. So then what we're going to do first of all is close it out and we're going to duplicate this text layer. So press control C, right click on your timeline and we're going to insert a new video track that's obvious and we're going to press control v to duplicate it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom one and we're going to click on the generated media tab and we're going to make sure that this one is transparent so we're going to lower the opacity of the of the top one then we're going to select our text and we're going to click on text color then we're going to make this one transparent like that so you won't see anything but we want an outline so now i'm going to scroll down just a little bit and then until we see outline, we're going to click on there. And then we're going to make that one a little bit thicker. So as you can see, this is just a text without any color, like transparent, but we have an outline in there. So then what we're going to do is close it out. Then we're going to bring up the opacity of the top one. And then we're going to go to the generated media rather. And then we're going to pick the text color of the, the liquid we want to have in the word. So I'm going to just pick, for example, this yellow one like that. So I'm going to make sure that also the outline is a little bit thicker than we had before. So I'm going to make the outline with just a little little bit thicker like that. All right, so now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to animate the liquid going into the word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the event pan crop icon of the text layer with the color in it. So that's going to be the top one in this case. Then we're going to select mask at the bottom and we want to make sure that we will pick the anchor creation tool. And then we're going to create a mask, first of all, below the actual text. All right, so now that we have this one, we need to actually animate the uh, animation of the liquid going into the word. So I'm going to just skip into my timeline. So that's going to create a key right there. So then what we need to do is just go to our timeline and we want to actually bring that up. As you can see, I'm going to hold control just a little so I can move this up like that. But then we're going to just click on our timeline to create a new keyframe. Then we're going to just basically do it like this. And then we want to just, for example, I don't know, I don't know like create another one like that. So it's going to be poured from the top left corner, then create another keyframe, drag this guy up as well. Also on the L because we want to have it poured uh, equally. So then what we're going to do is create another keyframe, just move this guy up uh, just a little bit. I'm going to also drag this guy up like that. And then we need to also just finish it off by just bringing it up completely like this. And then at the end for the D as well. Now that everything is masked, let's play it back and let's see what it looks like. So as you can see, it looks like it's being poured into the actual word. It looks really, really nice. And this is basically how you can create that amazing liquid effect in Vegas Pro 16. It's a really short video, but that's because this effect is so easy to do and it doesn't take like 10 or 15 minutes to show you guys it. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new because I have some awesome news I can share uh, in just, I don't know, a month, two months, maybe from now, uh, just a couple weeks actually, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually allowed to say more. So uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video. Obviously, I think hopefully tomorrow. Otherwise, it's going to be on Wednesday. So I'll see you guys in my next video.